So, you guys know how the Smurfs are really blue? Yeah, well that actually inspired a website. Not the Smurfs in particular, but the color blue, as a particular website needed a host, and blue thought that they would host them, and blue host was born. And they thought it suited them perfectly. So, now, some of you might be trying to understand blue host, and so I figured that I'd give you a little welcome party that's not even a party, but more of a tutorial of how to get started. But if you don't have Bluehost, then that's no problem either, because I have a nifty link in the description below that applies a site-wide discount if you click on it. You won't find it anywhere else, and neither will Gargamel and his cat. So if at any point you like what you're seeing, hop over to that link to save yourself some change. Alright, so there's a lot of stuff going on here, so we'll take it section by section. Your dashboard includes your home, websites, cPanel, email, domains, and hosting. The homepage is a bit scattered because I haven't set up everything, so we'll focus on everything else. Now, you can make and edit your website by clicking on the website tab, no surprises here, but I will show you how to do that in a second, so stick with me. Your cPanel email contains a way to forward, filter, and create automated replies. The cPanel has quite a lot more going on than just this though, so I'll show you that once we get to our hosting packages. The domain tab allows you to buy a domain or transfer one that you already have. Granted, if your plan includes a free domain, then you won't have to worry about it for an entire year. So you can rest easy. Until a year from now, I suppose. And we're on the hostings tab. Now, you can buy other hosting plans here, but we're not doing that right now. Your websites are also down here, which is kind of like a nice reunion. We haven't seen them in a few seconds. Now, like I mentioned, we have to check out that C panel, which is where all the wires and cords sit, because there's quite a bit to find here. In the C panel, you can find all the information regarding your site that isn't available on the dashboard, whether that's your databases, metrics, security, and scripts that really makes you feel like you're in no man's land once you click on them. Every feature has an extra subsection to explore and eventually you might have to learn them to understand the ins and outs of your website. But don't fret because Bluehost has customer support on the dashboard. Whether that's through their phone number, chat, or knowledge base with tutorials, you don't have to lone wolf the whole thing. Now let's check out the websites. Once you create it, there is a settings section that gives you some info regarding your sites. It shows you an overview of your site, security, including your SSL certificate, and site lock, which is something you can buy additionally, backups like Jetpack, plugins that you can enable or disable, speed where you can store and cache site data to improve speed for users when they're on it, and then the advanced and other settings, which is something personalized to you and the plan that you have. All right, so to actually make our website and use our WordPress subscription to its maximum capacity, we want to go to websites. And so from here, you want to go and add websites in the top right. It should be a nice little blue button and you can choose to install WordPress or transfer an existing WordPress website. We don't have one of those, so we're going to continue. And then once we choose our title, we can skip for now, but you can choose it either way. You're going to have to make it at some point. And so you click on skip now, whatnot, and then connecting a domain is very easy because if you have a, a free domain for a year, then you can utilize that and we continue. And then after this, it's going to make the website for us. It's going to take some time to load up, but eventually we'll get there. So now that everything is downloaded, we can go ahead and move on. To do that, you click on edit site and it will take you to this page asking if you want to migrate a WordPress site. And since we don't have one, we're going to go ahead and start that setup. It's going to ask you a few questions related to your experience with website building. And you can also identify what your site is about. And from there, you customize some site info pick and choose your themes, templates, and layouts. So this is the more personalized section. Of course, this isn't what's gonna make your website. You're not gonna finalize your customization options here, so don't worry. So once you're done all of that, you go ahead and you can begin the site making process. And after a minute or so, your site is made. From there, you can tweak it even further. I will have a video about that in the future, so stay tuned for that. And if you're the observant type, in the top right, you will see that your site is live. But if you want, you you can turn this off by going to Bluehost up top and selecting settings at which point you find the status and just by clicking on it you can enable or disable this. 
And so that is basically all you need to know for this video. If there are any other questions you have, you can ask away in the comments section, or you can check out those helpful options that Bluehost has. In any event, if you believe Bluehost is a good fit for you, then keep in mind that there is a site-wide discount located in the description below. This discount will leave you with some extra funds for your business, so before closing the video, make sure to explore that offer. Anyways, if you guys found the video enjoyable, please consider hitting the like button to get it to other folk who are also contemplating Bluehost. Don't forget to subscribe as it would bring a smile to my face. But as for now, that is all from me. Until the next video, take care and I'll see you later.